Hi, in today's video, I am going to show you what the difference is between Google Photos and Google Drive and explain why you might want to use both of them together if you're considering Google as a backup for your photos. So let's go. Hi, so today we're going to talk about the difference between Google Drive and Google Photos and why you should A, care and B, consider using Google as the backup for your photos. So we all know that it's very important that you back up your entire photo collection, but most people don't realize that you actually need to consider backing up in two different ways, one to back up your phone and one to back up your master photo collection. Now, a lot of us are familiar with the fact that Google Photos has an app and you can download that to your phone and you can use that to back up your camera roll automatically and everything will go to Google Photos. But there are some downfalls of Google Photos and that is mainly that Google will organize your photos the way it wants to organize them. So if you spend a lot of time making folders or a chronological system for your master photo collection and you upload that whole thing into Google Photos, Google basically takes it apart and organizes it the way it wants to. The way it does that is it organizes them basically by the date that the photo was taken and you don't have much control over that. You can make albums if you would like. Um, and you can download individual albums, but in terms of actually keeping your entire photo collection intact, uh, you lose the control over those photos in terms of the way that you would like them organized. And, you know, my classes are all about making sure that you have the most control of your photo collection because there are precious memories. So it's really important that we have control over how they're organized, how they're stored, how they're shared and things like that. Plus, if you are backing up your camera roll to go Google Photos, then you're going to get all the like the screenshots and all the junk and the blurry photos and not just the keepers in your Google Photos account. So it gets all messed up and then you're kind of back in the same, if you spend any time organizing, you're kind of back in the same place where you were before with a messy collection in Google Photos that you don't know how to straighten out and keep track of. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't back up your camera roll to Google Photos or that you shouldn't use Google Photos. I use Google Photos in a very specific manner to share and enjoy my photos, but I don't use Google Photos to back up my master photo collection. Now, you may, you probably know that Google Photos looks like this. All right, so here's Google Photos. You can see that it has all my photos and it has my screenshots because I do, um, I was demonstrating how it just uploads everything into Google Photos for a recent class that I was doing. And it has everything organized by date, okay? And you can organize some albums over here. So this is the way Google Photos looks. And it actually is a rather nice presentation. I love how it shows you some memories. And these pop up on um, my Google Nest, which I have in the kitchen. And it's always so great to see those memories pop up. And it's also fun to see the memories pop up on my phone because I have the Google app. So those are all positive things about Google Photos. For those people that are happy for something else to control their collection, um, Google Photos is great. If you want more control, then I do recommend creating a master photo collection um, on an external hard drive and I can totally help you with that. Now, the difference between this and Google Drive is that Google Drive looks like this. So Google Drive is a file-based system, a folder-based file-based system. So the reason that I suggest that you might want to use Google Photos and Google Drive together is because here you can actually create in Google Drive something that's Allison's master photo collection and you can have all your years and then inside all of your years you can have your months and you can have all your folders and all of that. And so it gives you a lot more control over your backup actually being a copy of what's on your external hard drive. And so I recommend that most people, if they are looking for a way to back up their master photo collection and back up their camera roll, look at using Google Drive and Google Photos together because they do work really well together. So if you'd like to learn more about that, I certainly can help you with that. We did a class last night on how to create a fail-safe backup system. And there are lots of details in there about how to actually set up a process like this because you can set this up on different services. I think Google is really a good choice for doing that, uh, but there are definitely other services, OneDrive, uh, Dropbox, Amazon, you can even do it in iCloud. And so there are lots of different options for creating a fail-safe backup system, but this is just the difference between Google Photos and Google Drive. Okay, so I hope that was helpful and I have, now you know the difference between Google Photos and Google Drive and maybe a little bit better understanding about why you would use one or the other for your photo collection. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I have, um, I'm building a library here of 
lots of videos that will help you with your photo collection. And of course, if you would like to work with me, you can visit the links um, in the description. So press like if you found this helpful, because it does help me grow my channel and I can provide you more content. And otherwise, I will see you soon.